We learned about many native authors and illustrators. Here are a few we recommend. Brenda J. Child is an author. The nation she is from is Red Lake Ojibwe. She lives in Minnesota. Brenda J. Child wrote Bow Wow Pow Wow. We like the illustrations. They are pretty. We are presenting our illustrator, Jonathan Thunder, and he illustrated Bow Wow Pow Wow. John Thunder, Red Lake Ojibwe. We love his end papers and illustrations. Cheryl Minema is an author and belongs to the Mill Wax Band of Ojibwe. She lives in Minnesota and wrote Hungry Johnny. Wesley Bollinger is an illustrator. He is a part of the Ojibwe. Wesley illustrated Hungry Johnny. He is in Minnesota. We like his illustrations because they are funny. The name of the author is Carol Lindstrom. She belongs to the Turtle Mountain Band of Chippewa. Carol wrote Girls Dance, Boys Fiddle. We like that the little girl never stops trying to be able to fiddle. Monique Gray Smith is an author and has Cree and Lakota ancestry. Monique wrote You Hold Me Up. She lives in Victoria, Canada. Christina Health is an author and illustrator and belongs to the Mohican Menominee. She lives in Wisconsin. Christina wrote and illustrated Mama's Little One. This book is made by Thomas King. He is Cherokee and Greek. He, he lives in Canada. The title of this book is A Coyote So This Tale. It was a good book and it was funny. Greg Rogers was an author, author and belongs to the Choctaw Nation. Greg Rogers wrote Chuckafy Rabbit's Big Bad Valley Cake. We like that it says he's big, it makes us laugh, lol, and that he eats everything. Cynthia Lytic Smith is an author and belongs to the Muscogee Greek Nation. She lives in Austin, Texas. Cynthia wrote Jingle Dancer. We liked when she danced at the end for people. Here's the book. Here's the book. Chief Jake Swamp is an author. He is part of the Mohawk Nation. Chief Jake Swamp wrote Giving Thanks. We like the pictures and the words. We also like to give thanks. Margaret Pocock Fenton is an author and is in work. Margaret wrote Not My Girl when I was eight. She lives in Canada. Joseph Bruhawk is an author and he is Abenaki and Europe heritage. He wrote The Fox Song and many other books. Campbell is in Deer, Salish, and Matee. She lives in Vancouver. She wrote the book Shin Chi's Canoe. I like the Shin Chi Echo, surprise Shin Chi, with her grandfather's song. Goodbye! Carol Savage is an author. She is Abenaki and French Canadian. She lives in Massachusetts. Cheryl Savage wrote Muskrat Will Be Swimming. Thompson Highway is a Cree author. He lives in Ontario. He wrote Caribou Song. We like when he danced. His first language is Cree. He lives in North Ontario. Thomas High wrote Dragonfly Kite. We both like this book because we both like dragonflies. And this is the book. Leah Savage is an author of the book, Nimble One, Everyone Dance. We like the pictures. The name of the person is Esty Nelson, wrote and illustrated Greet the Dawn. We like that the pictures are so detailed. The illustrator and the author is Esty Nelson. 
and belongs to Circle One, the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe. They live in South Dakota. Dan Bordeaux Waboos is an author. She belongs to Nishwab Ojibwe from Northern Ontario. Dan Bordeaux Waboos wrote Sky Sisters. Richard Van Camp Dog Nation. Richard Van Camp wrote We Send You Home and many others. He lives in Canada. We like the pictures and and the song. Joanne Robertson is a author. She wrote The Water Walker. She lives in Canada. <laughs> Jordan Miller is an author and is a career. Do you like when the hawk grabbed him by the pants and showed his behind? David Hudson is a na native author. His book is called The Socked Eyed Mother. He lives in Canada. I like the fish. Tim Tingle is from the Chalk. Ta Nation. Tim Tingle wrote When Turtle Grew Feathers, and this is our favorite page. We liked it when Rabbit got so scared that he shuddered. Tim Tingle wrote How I Became a Ghost. He lives in Canyon Lake, Texas. We like about this story because it is about a bo how a boy became a ghost. Virginia Diving Hawk is made the Christmas coat. We like that it is about making friends. I like how the narrator learns to think of others, not just herself. Sandy Tharpy has Cherokee ancestors. Sandy wrote the apple tree. We like it because it is easy to read and it is bilingual. Jenny Dupuy is an author and belongs to the Nipsa Nation. She wrote, I'm not a number. She, Julie Flett illustrated when we were alone. She lives in Canada. We like that the little girl was talking in the black typing and the grandma was talking in the orange typing. Tracy Sor Sorrell is a part of the Cherokee Nation. She wrote, we are grateful. Ojali Haley Ga. Thanks for watching!